Hi guys, if you're watching this, this is part 2 of my insane trip throughout Europe. In the last part, we went from my hometown in Sweden to Hamburg in Deutschland, Germany. But in this part, we will continue our journey from Hamburg to Paris, or Paris, probably. And we will go through these countries, and the countries are the Netherlands. Belgium and France. So with all that being said, you need to subscribe and like to this video. I recommend that you really need to do that, so subscribe and like, I say that. But to make this video a little bit more fun editing, for me, uh, this is a part when I include last part, like some random clips from random countries in the part. Buy a house. <laughs> no, what will I take? Oh, my ass. Oh! This is so amazing, I love this vacation. Am I right, Vigo? Now it's his turn, okay, do it. Do it. Ooh. I always wonder how long this bridge is, so uh, I'm going to do a time lapse how long it takes to drive from here to the other side. This long amount of time. M amount of time. I'm Okay, now that's it. But now we start the real part. Part 2. Okay, so uh, like right now I am in Germany, but uh, we are going to uh, Netherlands soon. Like, uh, at the, like I'm at the border uh, between uh, the Netherlands and uh, Germany. So uh, what I'm about to do is uh, going to the Netherlands in about maybe two hours or something i don't know but it will be fun in netherlands all right so uh, like i clip when we are in the netherlands instead of the army Ah, guys, welcome to Netherlands. I should say, Netherlands is a very, very beautiful country. I would say it has beautiful farmland, it has beautiful villages, towns, such like Amsterdam, Rotterdam, and Hague. I think you say Hague. Okay, and here I will share my journey throughout the Netherlands. But, a disclaimer, in the Netherlands something like really weird and kind of sad happened. And uh, I'm probably going to say that later in the vlog but stay tuned here comes the netherlands well still the same video but you get it so now i'm in netherlands so yeah what we're gonna do here is yeah uh, i really gotta say though that uh, the way to get here was insane uh how i feel about netherlands so far yeah there's cyclists like everywhere like literally everywhere i walk cyclists all around the freaking corner and one thing is that a lot of mosquitoes here. Yeah, a lot of mosquitoes. Now we come to the kind of sad and horrible thing that happened when I was going to Netherlands. That was really unlucky, I should say. Really unlucky. So, what happened to the Netherlands? You're probably wondering. Yeah, there was literally a storm. A massive storm that literally took apart of like everything. It, that storm was insane. I recorded a little bit when it was a storm. It rained, thunder, everything you can imagine. But here, I'm just going to show a clip before the storm. It's so flat in the Netherlands, by the way. And uh, yeah, it's, this is the first time I am in the Netherlands. And I actually I always wanted to come here in the Netherlands. So I'm at a place called Meerbecken. I don't know how you say it. It's like Dutch. Whole language. Whole language. But it's nice here, and uh, we see when something happens. So, okay, I was kind of lying to you that I filmed, I guess, a lot, but that was actually the only footage I filmed in the store. That 
That was like 1% of the storm. The storm was insane. Literally entire entire tent is shaked. The a tree and branches and everything hit the tent. Everything. It was a massive storm. It's hard to show but hey. But alright, then it turned morning and uh, I have a clip on it. Okay, storm hallelujah. Shit. Uh, I woke up to the worst freaking storm here in Netherlands. Oh my god, I'm like it's not so like windy now, but but for like one hour ago. Like it rained thunder, like everything. But now it's a little calmer, but I'm about to eat now, so wish me luck or will the place destroy by the storm. For oh, shit. Okay, after what the, the heck happened, it uh help we slipped in. So basically there was a ah, fuck fly my okay so basically there was a storm not a small storm like a massive storm so I got a notification on my phone that warned me from a massive storm in uh, like Nord Holland or what they say northern Holland and they uh, that was insane but uh, what we're going to do now is going to Amsterdam the capital if you didn't know that I also I forgot to say one thing I checked the date uh, uh, today, and it's 5th, and it was 4th uh, yesterday, and I forgot to congrat my American viewers on their Independence Day. So I want to say Happy Independence Day, America. I know that this, I know that this video is like uploaded in like August or end of July, but still, today is 5th uh, July, so... Uh, I'm like yesterday. I, I also want to say like congrats. All right. Okay. So we see you at Amsterdam. So yeah, now we are in Amsterdam, and what do we do here? Yeah, we went to a museum, <laughs> yes, like we did in Germany. And that museum is like a science museum, it's pretty cool actually, so uh, yeah. What 
amazing shit there. We are going into this science museum because it's so cool. Nice. Okay, click in there. Okay, if, so, if someone from the Netherlands is uh, watching this, call someone, sounds like that. Alright. Holy crap, that's fast. I don't know what this is, so choose a language. What about... Oh, oh. What about that language? Dutch. I think that. English. Uh, okay, I don't know how to, how to use that. Crap. The aarde staat buiten de leefbare zone, maar een stuk dichter bij de zon. Hier is het erg warm. Oceanen verdampen en het broeikaseffect wordt sterker. De luchtdruk stijgt. We kunnen niet meer leven op de grond, maar mogelijk wel in zwevende luchtschepen, omdat hoog boven de grond de temperatuur en de luchtdruk lager zijn. Werken, eten, slapen enzovoort zal allemaal in de luchtschepen moeten gebeuren. Zonnepanelen kunnen energie opwekken. De aarde staat nu trouwens vlak bij de planeet. De aarde staat nog in de leefbare zone, maar wel heel ver van de zon af. Het is koud op aarde. Er is mogelijk veel wind, maar die heeft weinig kracht door de lage luchtdruk. Er zijn bijna geen wolken meer, omdat deze uitsneeuwt. We kunnen aan het aardoppervlak leven in koepelkassen. Zo kan deels van wind worden gekomen. Het is fijn om dat ze bij de eetbaar nog wel buiten kunnen leven. Zo kan het een druk worden. De aarde staat nu vlak bij de planeet Mars trouwens. Bij mensen in goede thuisreizen en hopen dat het zien ze in Nederland. Okay, so what they say in Dutch is that uh, it's closing now, I think, so uh, we're getting out of this building. I didn't feel that much in this building, because I was like so fixated in, like, in these things. But it's been fun. Now we see it at like, around the cobblestone street of Amsterdam. Beautiful. I feel like a man. I feel like... And then I went to the old town of Amsterdam, which was very beautiful. I will definitely want to go there. Wow, well, I'm at uh, Amsterdam. If you didn't know that, okay, you know that. Obviously, the wind is called like Amsterdam. <laughs> it's so nice here. Like first, first time here in, first time here in Amsterdam, and it's a nice, uh, nice, nice place for me. Nice first place for me. All right. Well, I just want to share this beautiful, beautiful town, Amsterdam. Nice. I will definitely want to go to this place again. Will it hurt? Oh, it's soft. 
Alright, the Thai video has so far been in the Netherlands, but I don't want the Thai video to be in the Netherlands. I'll, so I'm just going to clip in there still clips in the Netherlands, well I filmed in the Netherlands, and then I'm going to, I'm not going to talk that much then, and then I'm going to clip in here. Belgium and France, and the video will end, hopefully. Also, I forgot to say, now um, now in the clips I'm going to just show uh, when I walked around in the town to show you how it looked after the storm, basically. Okay, so I'm right now walking now in uh, medium bleak in uh, the Netherlands, and I guess like I feel like, like I feel good, but I'm not feeling good because like right now, like a few hours ago, there was a massive storm, like big, insane storm that killed. I think about like two people and hurt like I don't know, but I could see that storm. That was so 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 scary. Talk about die. Because, uh, and uh, I waked up like 5 at the morning because I heard a tree like fell like, close to uh, the hotel we are at or, or the tent and that like shake the entire like tent so I waked up and that was uh, just a bird I think or a duck I don't know it's like someone is behind me but like right now it's chill like it's no rain it's no like storm it's just a little bit windy yeah I'm going to share you about like tomorrow. Sorry if I didn't like film so much in Amsterdam, but I was like so cool. I have my phone and it ran out of battery, so I couldn't film that much. But uh, tomorrow I will film a little bit more in like Hog and uh, Rotterdam. Well, I will try with the, my, my camera. So uh, that will be insane. And peace. <laughs> and uh, I was happy for you guys that you don't have a, like a storm. We see you tomorrow and. Okay, next day here in uh, the Netherlands, and uh, there was no storm tonight, not even like wind, it was like rain. I am alive, and uh, it's the next morning now, and that's why you can see that my hair, hair is not like... But yeah, I'm just so happy that I'm still alive, because two people died in that storm, what I know. Maybe more. So. Also, I don't know if I have said that this dirty camera, but uh, you need to like, like, and subscribe. Alright. I'm about to eat uh, breakfast, and actually today, I'm leaving the Netherlands, Belgium. So we can continue on our big trip. So go eat breakfast and go to Belgium. Maybe we're going to uh, stop at Haag, like that city with H-A-A-G. I don't know, Haag, I say Haag. Hello, Haag, maybe you say in Dutch. And then maybe we we'll stop in Rotterdam and we should be it there. So we see you. We we'll see you then. By the way, the toilet though. This is so uh, toilet in the Netherlands looks like if you're like interested in that somehow. So a heaven toilet. Nice. And this is how it looks like inside the toilet. And it's kind of luxury. I can light it up for you. Nice. I got this mirror. By the way, I recorded on my phone now. Nice. Uh, the toilet looks like this. Also, this doesn't make sense like this. Girl things in the like morning symbol. In the. <laughs> Man, say restroom. Anyways. Anyways, this toilet also has uh, a, a shower. So if you like dirty, you can know, like, you know, shower, shower. You see, basically, we are in a camping uh, place. So this thing, so like there are no toilets in a uh, tent. So that's why it's like in buildings with like showers, toilet. There's another one there, the same, but it's like it has a kitchen in there and, and uh, tables and 
little stuff it's like that. <sighs> so okay, so recap about I guess the Netherlands. So so we are leaving uh, the Netherlands now. We are at the border between Belgium and the Netherlands. I'm going to talk about my experience about the Netherlands. So basically, what happened? We came to the Netherlands during storm period. So that was unlucky, really. And also, one thing I talked to see, like I talked to see a lot in uh, the Netherlands, that uh, that was Mariana. I expected to see like a lot of like Mariana weed and cocaine, but I uh, saw like nothing. And now there's a ambulance coming. Always, yeah, I get some wrong the terrorist, terror attack, probably. <laughs> yes. So I expected that to be a lot more like Mariana here, but that's not like nothing besides like two people smoking it. And I think the reason why I didn't saw that much is because they changed the law that you can't uh, smoke Mariana out like outside the public anymore. So. And also, and one thing I also uh, saw here in uh, like the Netherlands was that people were friendly to me. Like they were a little bit more friendly. Like in Sweden, like people they are like not that. I guess like they're not that friendly as as I expect. But here in uh, the Netherlands, they are like they like want to give. Uh, Give space for us uh, when you walk. Uh, when you see, uh, when if they see you walking here, they can like say hi hi or something or hello. And if you do that to Sweden, that that will never happen. Like, trust me, I am a Swede. I know that that will never happen. So it is. It has been very fun here in the Netherlands. Amsterdam was very. Beautiful city. I wish I could record more there, but record with my phone in front out of battery, so I couldn't film. Sadly, if I took this camera with me, I can film a lot in the Netherlands. Beautiful city. So uh, I'm going to uh, like Belgium now. First time I am in Belgium, just yes, like in Netherlands. First time I am in Belgium, and that will be fun. I know that they speak French and the Dutch in the Belgium so that's that would be cool to see like French I guess and then we go to France to see if I can survive the crisis there and here we have a last look at Dutch in the Netherlands and uh, it says cameras here and I have a code it probably says like no cameras Something, no recording. So, so uh, I am gangster. I am gangster. But <laughs> we we'll see you uh, at Belgium. So blühe froh in voller Schöne zu dir die Freiheit, die ich erzog. Und wo dann singen deine Söhne, Gesetz und König und die Freiheit hoch. Und wo dann singen deine Söhne, Gesetz und König. Und die Freiheit hoch, Gesetz und König und die Freiheit hoch, Gesetz und Hi guys, welcome to Belgium. Belgium is a very beautiful and cool country. It is the invention of French fries. They are not from France, promise me guys. And also, they are the invention of waffle, which is this good dessert. Good. Alright, my time in Belgium was very nice and uh, I will recommend you to visit Belgium one time. It was, it's, it's beautiful. But first, I'm just going to show when I got to Brussels. Where do I take the metro?
Okay, we're about to take the metro to the center of Brussels. We are like at the edge of the So yeah, we're on this uh, ex escalator down to Lines metro station. We're not allowed to smoke. Oh, I feel it. <laughs> we have to take a metro to the center. That would be nice. Some rules apply to using the metro. I think I'm missing right. I got it. The metro is ready for fat man to sit in there now. Welcome back to the escalator. I'm gonna sit here, rest of my life. Okay, now we're going <laughs> to Brussels. It's fun. Uh, Brussels Central. And like, I get the feeling that all the tourists can come here. We are at Bristol Central. It looks like New York. I saw so many, you know, skyscrapers. Wow. <laughs> Have you ever been to Bristol? <laughs> it's so cool. All of these skyscrapers. All of these skyscrapers. Oh man. The construction of the building. <laughs> Jumps. I think I can't uh, have this in my video. I think it's demonetized. Even though I don't uh, get none of my videos, I still don't want it demonetized. Life hack for me. Okay, time to have my sun cream on. It's like 30 degrees outside. Okay, let's have it. Punk. All I can have. What's up, guys? Oh, and welcome to Brazil! <laughs> Nice, Brazil. When I was in Amsterdam, it was like rain, it was cold, it was a storm. And when I was like, every country I've been in so far have been rain and cold. But here it's like 30 degrees hot. I need to have something on them. A big difference from uh, the other places I have been to. <sighs> I keep saying that. So one thing I have learned about like Belgium is that they speak four language. Alright, I didn't record that much after that because there was too much construction and loud noises at the background. But I told about how Belgium has four languages, so not that interesting for me, maybe for you. We're going on top of that building. Alright, we are at that white building, yeah, and uh, you can see if we can walk into that. I think that's a shirt, man. We're going in that and uh, film it with this mode. Nice. Oh, you can. I'm not sure if you can film that. You can, can watch the rules. Uh, <clears throat> you can. So I'm going to take off my cap and be quiet. And then my brother tested Prime that we bought from a cannabis store. This is Prime I bought. In that store. <laughs> yeah, it tastes good now. <laughs> he's like drinking. Yeah, he's like drinking that. I'm drinking like this drink. It's not that special, to be honest. But I am here in Belgium, Brussels. And it's magnificent! Wow! Magnificent place! 
I love this. Expensive cars too. Only in Russia. <laughs> and now we're back to this area again. It's really more than area. I can't believe how... How can it look like this? <laughs> it's, it's insane. Why we're going back on a metro, alright. Hmm, where could I possibly be? In uh, Belgium. I could be in... Uh, 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 no, I am here. It's hard to film here. It's gigantic. So it's hard to film, but I am at this Atomium, Atomium place. And uh, like this is a Gada Go place in, <laughs> in uh, Belgium, so that's why I'm here. It's it's massive and it's completely free to come here. <laughs> no, I need to pay for the ticket for the metro, but almost. Oh, man. so big. <laughs> All right, so I'm filming in this mode so you can see like more of that. I don't know what I'm gonna do here, but it's always cool to lay down there. And just look at that beauty. I'm going. All right, guys, that was Belgium. Hopefully, the clips I showed maybe got you interested to go to Belgium. Belgium was very nice, to be honest. But we are going to France now, and it's the last. Uh, country we have in this video. Uh, I don't know if it's sad, okay, probably not. Uh, but yeah, but I have one last clip I recorded in Belgium. Here it comes. About to leave this place then. About to leave Belgium, I should say. We're going to France, and that will be the next stop. We we'll see you later, boys. Ah guys, welcome to France, the most famous country of in all of these parts, I guess. France, for me, was a very great country. Actually, I really like France. And that's because uh, people were friendlier than I talked. <laughs> like, when you heard about France, you think that, Oh, people, they are so unfriendly and rude. They they were rude when I was. Anyways, in this video, we're going to Paris, and then the video stops. Sorry, France man, I know that Paris is not real France. But promise, in the next part, I will include France. Like, yeah, entire of France. Like, uh, southern France, uh, middle of France, you name it. But anyway, here's... When I was in Paris, when I was when I visited the Eiffel Tower, the Louvre, and the, the Mona Lisa, same same thing like Louvre. You get it. I am about to go to the most visited town in the world called Paris. I'm not sure if like Paris or Bangkok is the most visited, but I think I think Paris is like more. I guess so. And that's a massive city, and I have fun there. And we are going to take the train to Paris. Wow. Uh. So we are taking the train to Paris. Wow, all of a sudden I am at Louren in Paris actually. I'm going to see the Eiffel Tower pretty soon. I'm going to see that uh, Mona Lisa. She's beautiful, so I want to see her with my own freaking eyes. I actually, comment down below if I have been to Paris. -ish. This is like the most touristy like city place in the world. No, no, like not this one. One of the most in Louren. But we're soon getting there. Soon getting there, right? <laughs> and also dying out of sweat. Gotta say that. Eiffel Tower. I'm there. Oh my god, soon, soon, almost, 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 and here we have it, the triangle little masterpiece called the Louvre. Inside that, we have the Mona Lisa. So many tourists. 
<laughs> Doesn't shock me. Everyone is taking pictures. <laughs> Everyone is taking Alright, about to get into that building, but uh, it's like the world's longest. Uh, so, yeah, this is fun. Pretty close now. It's been like 15 minutes, so. I <laughs> okay, I still <laughs> here a little bit. Alright, we see you inside like the only Okay, now, now I'm in this uh, building, and um, if it's hot, I should say that it's like cold inside there. Thank god! Okay, going on this escalator now. Wow, there's so many tourists here. I can show you a little bit. This is how it looks like inside the Louvre, Louvre in Paris, France. It feels like a terrorist terrorist attack can happen every time. Comment down below if you have been to this building before. Well, obviously they have. Been. <laughs> obviously they have. Now I'm here at this at this marvelous massive building. <laughs> Try to speak, but it's too loud. Made it in here to see that Mona Lisa. What even is this place, though? <laughs> like this building is like. So interesting, like everything in one place. Hmm. So many tourists. Gotta say, I haven't really seen like French people. Is this painting famous or something? I don't know. Hmm. I didn't expect this. See if we can fit in that elevator. <laughs> okay, downstairs. Uh, I don't know what, what you can see here, but it's like dark underground. <laughs> Spooky. But it's like Egypt. Okay. <laughs> Looks like a mass messenger. Still in Lovren. Lovren. Paris. France. AKA. Those towers. And there we have it, the Mona Lisa, the most famous painting in the world, probably. And uh, you see, I have now seen it with my own eyes. This vacation has been very historical. But it's motorcycle, I guess. <clears throat> Welcome to Paris. Go to Okay, guess what building that is? That's the Eiffel Tower, baby. Baby. So, uh, this is Paris, if you didn't know that. Beautiful city of Paris. And uh, like, I'm going to uh, like the Eiffel Tower too soon, but we stopped here so we can pee, like, drinking my Red Bull, you know. But I think it will be like, it has been very fun here at Paris. And people here, like, they aren't that rude as I expected, so. <laughs> that's that's good. <laughs> Guys, look, I'm under the Eiffel Tower. This is the coolest thing I experienced so far. Being under the Eiffel Tower, that is massive. You can't really see how massive it is in the foam, but I can say that in reality. Oh god, help me out. This is like the biggest thing in the world. <laughs> Feels like that when you're like under the thing. Hmm, it's gigantic. Massive building. Alright, okay, alright, so uh, we are now going back to uh, a hotel. Oh, well, hotel, to another hotel because one night got uh, denied at the uh, last one, so we got to another 
that like you can see Ava Tower is behind me. Alright, no, it's not behind me. No. But it's been like, I guess, cool to be like visit it to this tower. Like you see there, the big, the biggest thing is that I think that like the biggest tower in Europe or something. You can fact check me on the comments if you want to. Not like uh, you need to, but it's cool. But we're going to the metro, going back. It's been fun in Paris. But now it's time to say goodbye. That <clears throat> big, massive thing. Massive me. It's hard to tell how massive that is, but it's, it's massive in real, in real life. You can't really see in like video, so. Yeah. The, yeah, we're going to the metro, back, and all of that. You know, touristy things you need to do. Sadly. <laughs> nice last visit at the Eiffel Tower in a long time. I'm probably not going back there, but it's always fun to go there. Always fun. Yeah. Have to cross this sidewalk. Me too. Eiffel Tower. What a good. Alright guys, finally the video is over. And I'm too lazy to do an outro, so subscribe. Okay, for real. Literally, this video took so long to even make. In the last video I said that this video should be uploaded at the end of August but uh, it was uploaded in the 14th September so yeah <laughs> but it, it takes too long to end it like 41 minutes alright see ya at part 3 I don't know when it's uploaded but it's uploaded when it's uploaded I say that